Hey, Mini Bash, it's the 18th of July, 2019, and I wish I had more time to go over all of this stuff with you right now, but it's just the way it is. I had to share this, though, because yesterday, the 17th, so many different things leading up to that day, and so it kind of passed by, and then this morning... I get these uh, email, um, what do you call it, alerts, right, about the earthquakes. And so this one I found in my email. And it dawned on me that it was a 5.3. Uh, we were looking for something related to the 153. At least I was, because that number is all over everything, which relates directly to the 17. The 153 and the 17, they are essentially one and the same, right? But yesterday, 717, we get hit with a 5.3 earthquake, okay? And get this, a little over. You can't make this stuff up, you guys. This is the funniest thing. It, it's just crazy how they do this stuff. The 5.3 magnitude. Look at this. A little over 152 miles west, right? 152 miles. You think that's a coincidence? I don't think so. That's just screaming at us, you know what I mean? And don't forget, this is spiritual warfare, man. Oregon, a lot of people didn't know this, that in, in the English Gematria is the 444, the same as Jesus, the same as gospel and the cross and lucifer it's spiritual war that's what we're looking at and then of course it hits at the 1500 right utc this is just absolutely crazy you guys 1500 utc that is the equivalent to three o'clock 153 which is also the ninth hour which you'll find in mark 15 33 okay as well as in luke 23 verses 44 through 46 which happens to be the magnitude of the quake that struck in seattle next to a place called lord hill it's just on and on and on you guys you cannot make this stuff up at all the 4.6 quake look at 4.6 lord hill regional park right there and what happens in mark 15 33 and luke 23 and 46 there's an earthquake and the veil is rent from top to bottom so there was a message sent yesterday without a doubt something is being relayed to us and it obviously is related to earthquakes and i do believe that that west coast is just primed cocked and loaded and it's going to snap any time so you just got to be in Christ. That's the most safest place you can be is in Jesus Christ. No matter where on this world you are, if you're in him, you're at peace. And you are sealed till the day of redemption, okay? So just keep that in mind first and foremost all the time. And uh, peace and grace to you. Many faith. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 